The Roydal propellers are everywhere on YouTube right now, but has anyone tried to put one in an EDF? I don't think so, so I did it just as an experiment. Droidal propellers are cool, definitely. There is a bit more hype than real applications in some cases, but still it's a pretty cool technology. And because recently I have been researching some EDFs that I want to use for a project, I thought how about making my own EDF, 3D printing it and putting a toroidal propeller inside. For plenty of reasons, I'm pretty sure this is not the best idea and it's not gonna improve the efficiency of the EDF, but maybe it will make the EDF a bit quieter. To design my own EDF, I used this EDF as a design reference. I bought it online, it was pretty cheap. And then I tried to copy all the dimensions and things and features of the design in Fusion 360. But I kept in mind that this thing is going to be 3D printed, so it's not gonna be as strong as injection molded parts. So some things are a bit different. Making just one EDF and one propeller wouldn't make for an interesting video, so I designed a few more propellers, standard propellers, and then a few more toroidal propellers to compare all of them. All the parts were printed on Snapmaker Artisan, the fans with white PLA and the case of the EDF with PETG. And yes, I know this is an FDM printer and printing fans with an FDM printer is not really the best idea. The aerodynamics of such a fan is terrible and that's why I want to compare standard 3D printed fan to a 3D printed toroidal fan. Hopefully that will be a fair comparison. Filling all the spaces between layers and then sanding it is not really doable for such small fans. Soldering these connectors is pretty easy, but you have to know how to do it properly. You have to heat up the whole connector and then insert solder the little hole on the side and that way it's just super easy to solder and it's also incredibly strong. It's time for the first test. So now I just need to connect the ESC to the battery. Okay, everything is working fine, so let's just see if it's going to explode. It does work, and it seems like it's not really going to explode, so that's a cool thing. The trust is not really impressive, but I'm going to go outside with this thing, because I feel a bit more comfortable with testing it outside, and we'll then test all the propellers, measure the trust, and also the airflow with the anemometer. Let's go. Testing outside is a pretty good idea because I just enjoy being outside and also if something explodes, it's not a really big deal. I can control it with the RC remote from a distance and I'm quite safe while like pushing this EDF to the max. The plan is simple, I want to start with standard propellers and see what kind of trust they generate and then I want to compare these different propellers with different number of blades to the toroidal propellers that I have right there. And I will be using a 3S LiPo battery because I don't have anything higher than 3S, so that should do fine. A very interesting part of this video is the trust stand because this is my own project that I've built like 5 years ago. I remember designing this PCB when I was at an internship in Ireland. And these kind of projects are definitely my favorite. Projects that you can seriously use just for fun or for building different projects like in this case. I could never even imagine that I will be using this very trusted to design my own 3D printed EDF five years later, but here I am and it's really a lot of fun. If you would like to build this trust and you can find in the description a link to the Instructable with step-by-step -step instruction with all the files and all the parts you need to replicate this project. Test number one, normal fan with 15 blades max power. Throw 
Cradle Fun Test number one for blades full power. After all the tests and gathering the data, I created these two plots and as you can see the trust generated by the toroidal propeller is lower in all cases than a standard propeller, so that's one downside. And second thing, the wind speed generated by the toroidal propellers is also lower. DaVinci Resolve, the software that I'm using to edit my videos, has built-in frequency analyzer and thanks to that I was able to create really nice frequency plots that you will see right now for all the tests. To make a fair comparison, I recorded samples at 30 grams of thrust, 50 grams of thrust and then full power because as you saw, the full power is generating different levels of thrust for the standard and toroidal propellers. I might be a bit biased because I'm making this video, but I can definitely hear a difference between a standard and toroidal propeller and on the frequency plots, you can see that for a standard propeller, we have this kind of really high spikes for certain frequencies and we don't have that for a toroidal propeller, so that's a good thing. I also performed one more test inside and measured the noise level with an app on an iPad. I know it's not the perfect method, but it's something. And the noise difference was quite substantial. It was 80 decibels for a toroidal propeller and around 86 for a standard propeller and in decibel scale that's a pretty big difference. I know that my testing setup probably wasn't perfect, my propeller design definitely wasn't perfect and the idea of printing that with an FDM printer wasn't the best one at all. But we have some data, we compared the two similarly made propellers and there are differences that you can hear, you can see, you can easily observe that. And I think this is a good starting point to design something better. If you have any ideas on how I can improve my designs and you would like to share that with everyone, do that in the comments. I would really appreciate that. And maybe in the future we will create even a better proper design that I could like test more. That would be really fun. Overall, that was a pretty nice journey, a pretty nice idea and a real challenge to design the EDF that is pretty printable and just simply works and then play a bit with different fun designs. It was a lot of fun, I hope you enjoyed this video, you can find all the links, useful links in the description, as well as all the files that I designed for this project. I want to turn this thing into a toroidal fun in one of my next videos. Good idea? Bad idea? Let me know in the comments.